Well, hello all. My name is Stephen Thomas, and today we're talking about light-dependent resistors. But before we do, I just want to tell you what the name Stephen means. Stephen means crown. And you know another name for crown? Corona. So you can call me Corona Thomas. Do you see Corona and Stephen are the same thing? So next time you meet any Stephen, you can go, Corona! But don't do that. They'll arrest you for coughing. Anyway, let's have a look at light-dependent resistors. Now, I'm going to show you a close-up of a light-dependent resistor. But let's tell you what this symbol is. It's a little circle with a square. There's the little rectangle that is for a resistor. There's the light. There's the wires that come to it. It's abbreviated LDR, light dependent resistor. It depends on light for its resistance. So that's why it's called a light dependent resistor. Scientific people like to make things clear. It appearance is it looks like something that's got two little wires or two little legs. And then it's got a little disc on top with what looks like a snake. And that's its sensor that senses light. Now, those two little legs are the same length, and it doesn't matter which direction you attach them. You can, they don't have a short and a long leg. You can put them anywhere around in the circuit because the resistance changes no matter which way you connect them. Its use, it changes resistance according to light intensity. So as the light, say, becomes dark or it becomes light from, from the ch change from day to night, you can use these little guys to turn on things at sunrise or sunset. So I've made a little circuit that turns, um, that turns the light on when it starts to get light. Now that sounds like a dumb thing to do, turn a light on when it gets light. But then I'll show you how you can modify the circuit to change um, a light on when it gets dark. But I think I'm going a little bit bossy. Look at the shape of that circuit. I think there's some sort of Freudian thing going on there. Look at it. It's in the shape of a... Well, you can guess it's got a little circle with spikes. Looks a bit like a crown or a corona to me. Or a Stephen. So, you see it's got all those little resistors sitting in a circle there. It's got a transistor in the center, there's the positive, there's the negative, we attach our battery, there's our little LED that's going to come on. I'm going to show you a close-up of the circuit right now. So, here is a close-up of the circuit. Let's just see if it works and then we'll explain it further to you. So let's point this LED towards the camera. It's quite light this morning. There's the positive terminal, there's the negative terminal. Now while things are light, you can see the little LED is glowing. Here is our light dependent resistor. Now watch what happens as I begin to cover it from the light. I'm using the Akogi top and you see as it gets darker, the little light goes off. The LED goes off. I can cover it with my finger, but my finger actually is transparent or translucent. It lets light through. So we need something that properly covers light. And you'll see that it begins to flicker the closer I get to covering it. When it's completely covered, it goes completely off. So what do we have in the circuit? Well, we've got a ring of three... 0.3 kilo ohm resistors. Those are big resistors. They start at the negative, they go to the positive. So what we are forming is a potential divider. So where we now tap off to our base, this is a wire that taps off. There's the symbol for it. It taps off to the base quite close to the negative. So it just goes through one resistor. So it's this tapping off is closer to the negative than to the positive. We if we tapped it off here to be closer to the positive. By this, where we tap it off, we can change the level at which it changes from light to dark, this LED. Here is our transistor. 
Um, here is the resistor that prevents the transistor burning out. It's got a it's got a about a 450 ohm resistance that just goes to our collector. There's our emitter, and here is our base. Now remember, you learned that as long as the base is biased positively, the transistor will allow current through it to act like an on switch, and then our LED will glow. So here's the circuit goes from positive through this resistor to our collector, through the transistor, through the LED, and back to the back to the battery. So that is the main circuit: positive collector emitter through the LED back to the uh, back to the battery then this is just creating a varying voltage less volts one less than one volt going all the way to six volts depending on where we tap this lead now we have a second lead going to our base so one this lead is biasing our base negative this is going to bias our base positive. Do you see this LDR, light dependent resistor, is attached to the positive? And depending on whether light shines on it, if light shines on it, it allows the current to flow. And if light doesn't shine on it, when we block it, no current can flow. So now our base is no longer biased positively. It's only biased through this wire here negatively and through this resistor. So, so we bias it neg we have to have both biases because the one bias makes it able to switch off the other bias makes it able to switch on and whichever bias wins then it will switch on or off so if we remove this this bias wins it's now more positive than negative our base is it's positive with respect to our emitter which is there that little arrow shows it's the emitter side of the this is a BC457 NPN um, transistor, just a normal, common, cheap old transistor. All these parts are very cheap. So you can make yourself a lot of fun circuits with just, honestly, this probably doesn't cost more than $1 or 10 Rand for all the components. So all these components are cheap. And just look at the fun you can have. You can play all day like this. Now I'm going to modify the circuit so that it switches on in the night which is more useful than what it's doing now it took me just a few minutes to modify the circuit but have a look how it works now if i cover this do you see how the light comes on so now as it gets darker 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 so the light comes on so now we've got a circuit with the same components that switches on as it gets dark which is probably a much more useful circuit you want a light to come on when it gets dark. Now notice here's the slight difference that we did. Instead of this LED being attached to the positive, we now attached it to the negative. And we took our sweeper, this little line here, the sweeper of our, this is just a potentiometer, uh, and we put it, we could adjust it. And like I say, we have these various resistors, and this adjusts when we want it to turn on. So I had to just try a few nails here, and then I found that nail was ideal for getting it to turn on as it gets dark. So this adjusts the positive potential to our base. This is attached to the negative. So now, while the light is on, the base is biased negative, which switches it off. But as it gets darker, this becomes a very high resistance. It becomes an infinite resistance. And when it's an infinite resistance, this is, can you see, goes through those resistors to the positive. So here's the positive bias. So now the base is reading a positive bias because it's more closely attached to the positive side than it is attached to the negative side you see we've got one two three four resistors going to the negative side and only two to the positive so this is closer to the positive means it's biased positive and there's no negative bias to switch it off that negative bias is switching it off and this is now conducting 
the negative goes straight to there with very little resistance and it switches our transistor off but when I cover it gets very high resistance that's it's a light dependent resistor very high resistance and that means now it's biased positively and this is like a closed switch this is like an open switch open switch to the positive positive switches it on switches our transistor on switches our LED on